Hi everyone, in this new video I want to show you, whether it's worth it or not, buy this Samsung Galaxy at 20 seconds. It is a low-end phone that was launched in 2020. And well there I have it in the meantime, while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra arrives. A but for many, how does this phone seem to you? How is today behaving? And well in this video, I will tell you all the things to keep in mind. If you are looking for this phone, first of all, I'm going to make it very clear to you. I'm, I'm just going to comment on my experience and how is he behaving today. If you are looking for specifications, a review and an unboxing, I recommend looking for another YouTube video. So, without anything more to say I begin. The first thing I'm going to tell you is how it behaves. The phone itself. It surprises me for multitasking, to have very open applications and everything. Don't have a big problem, but yes for games. And slightly heavier applications, such as Bank Columbia, it takes a long, long eternity. And besides this application is very heavy so, I had to wait three, four, or five minutes there until it works. I'm just going to show you there so you can see. And it is also due to its processor that has. If I'm not mistaken, it is a Snapdragon 428. I'm not well. If there is anything, correct me there in the videos. And, and in this version that I have, it is 3 gigabytes of RAM. Then well. Send super slow. Just for you to see. Until then it stayed frozen. And that's where the device stayed, but oh well. M in performance. The truth is, I can tell you that. Normal for a decent person. Well, for anyone who only uses Facebook, WhatsApp and everything but for games. And most decent applications very regular band. Hey how is the battery behaving? The truth is that it behaves quite well. It only lasts 7 hours for moderate use. So, in that sense I haven't had a big problem. How does fast charging behave? Because this one has fast charging despite being old. He behaves well. But, but don't expect it to load so fast. Like other devices out there now. In. What are the cameras like? The truth in that regular sense. Um, they are cameras from a low-end phone. In fact, it has a wide angle. Normal. I think it has a macro. Or that would be the focus. And the front one is the most regular of all. Oh, well. There is nothing more to ask for for one by one of these phones. And suddenly you get it quite cheaply. Its screen actually looks very good. Although it does not have good density. Looks excellent. For today. And also another thing that surprises. Has been the topic updates. This fact remained with Android 11. With One UBI 3.0. And in that sense it's not so bad. As for the software. Unfortunately. There is almost no. Proms update topics and all that. But there is nothing more to complain about. Uh, the whole phone is made of plastic, so the sensations are not going to be good. Or, well, at least one that comes in a mid-range. Oh, a different range. And then the phone itself. I can basically tell you that it is good. But only for fairly basic use. And it can last you a couple more years. That's what I tell you. Look for it in the best possible condition. Otherwise, I do not recommend the phone for gaming. I do not recommend it for demanding applications or anything like that, because that's what a low-end phone was made for. And in their time, they cost quite expensive. If you like this video, let me know with a like. Subscribe, activate the bell on everyone. And see you next time.